Hi everyone, it's Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. Um, I thought I would show you a nice technique with using um, clear glass beads and with using your inks underneath. Um, I'm just checking that you're in shot. Yeah, you are. So what we've got here is we've got the beautiful tribal flower stencil that's been designed by Emma Cronin and we're using um our super fine clear glass beads and these come in two sizes they come in 100 grams and 225 grams um, and we're going to be using our translucent stencil medium it's important that you use a translucent one as well and i've got some dye base inks uh, my adirondacks and i've got cranberry denim lemonade and meadow um, if you're going to use dye base inks, then I do recommend that you set it um, before you actually put the translucent over. So let's far away. So let's move out the sheet. So I've got a piece of card here and it's a 145 by 145. Um, you can cut it down. You can use a smaller if you want. Now, I do have two stencils here, only for quickness of the demonstration. So, magnetic sheet as always. We check that you're in shot. Yeah, you are. Lovely. Okay, so I'm popping my stencil on and I'm actually going to pop it. I know that I'm popping it on that way because I need two of these. So you're going to do the same process twice and then you're going to be cutting out um, your top layer. So let's mask off. And you only need one all the way around. And mask off. So first off, you're going to apply some inks over the top of it. So you need an ink base. So I've got our brushes and the ones that I use for my normal inks, not my oxides. So let's go in with the lighter color first. So these are well loved and well used. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my inks and I'm just applying gently, building up my layer. If you flood the area, what's going to happen is it's going to um, creep under. So just make sure that when you're applying your inks, that um, you know you build up your layers. You don't flood the area. Quite like. Yeah. Let's go this way. So we're just building up. So as I said, you would do this twice. So you would do this once, then take your stencil off and rather than wash it, do your second one. Um, but I've already got some prepped. So I'm going to go in. Let's go in with the green. So just try and control some of it. And there's no real method to this. I'm just slapping my inks on for the moment just so I get some colour so we can show you the, the way to do it. Okay, going more blue. I'm leaving my red because it's quite a dominant colour till last. So let's take a little bit there. There we go, just catching the edges. Again. Try not to rock the table too much. Pop those. And you're just building, 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 rather than flooding your area. So in with the cranberry. I love this colour, this one's beautiful really gives it warmth so again excuse the noise in the background and again going over with my lemonade until i'm really happy that i have got the color that i'm after and the blend that i'm after so try not to get mud so popping that down pop that on 
I just love stencils. You get so many different techniques, different looks, and it's a good way for experimenting, you know, with all your stash that you've had. So again, just building over. So pop those out the way, because it's a, it's a real quick demo. So just clean that area up a bit. So you could save your tape for your next one. Um, so you're not wasting your tapes. Most important is when we put the translucent base over, you've got to have a clean stencil. So hence that's why I've got two at the moment. So there's your image. So pop it in warm soapy water. So we know that we did the writing upwards. So we know that when you put your stencil back on, writing upwards. So quick dry off with heat gun. Try not to warm it up too much because you don't want to warp your card too much. But you're trying to set your inks. So I don't know if you can see. I've got to keep remembering not to take it out of shot. I did filming yesterday and it was all out of shot, so it's so frustrating. So we're slotting back over. Lovely. Popping him back in. And just shimmy him back in and just make sure that it is all in correctly. I think that looks pretty good to me. Lovely. So we're now going to use translucent medium. So we need to apply our tapes on, clean tape. If you use dirty tape, what's going to happen is the translucent is going to hit the tape, drag the ink, and it's going to contaminate all your residue. So you don't want that. So it's important to use clean for the sake of a stripper tape. So we're making sure we're nicely stuck down all the way around. I've got my tray. So I'm getting myself prepped ready before I get any of my mediums open. I've got my stencil medium, my translucent, and I've got my clear beads. So these are fabulous. These are beautiful, like little crystals. So they're in there. I'm going to just grab myself a tea towel that I always put down. Um, underneath my tray so that when the beads bounce they bounce onto the tea towel and not all over my tray or try not to anyway so move that out of the way where's my spreader my spreader is there so my tools now going in with my medium so just do a quick double check yep I've got my translucent so using the back of the palette knife I'm on and on. If I use the front, it's a lot harder to try and get a good dollop. So I always work with the back of the palette knife. These are back in stock now again after a long, long time. It's taken us ages to get these back in stock. Um, and we've got a fab stock amount of them. So they're a cranked handle and they're just so much easier. I find with the pointy ones, when I try and get a good scoop, it drops everywhere. So it took us a long time to get these particular ones back into stock. So with my spreader, I'm at a 45 degree angle, hands together, and I'm gently pulling towards me. So on and up. So with my back in, that's my first application. My second, again, gentle towards me and up. See how much you're getting off. It's going back in, lid back on, lovely, to one side. Back we go straight into water and we're taking off. So we're taking our sides. I'm still careful with my um, stencil tape, trying not to catch my card because I've got um, very old guillotine which is well loved but it does leave a fluffy edge and sometimes that catches so we're taking up so this is my hinge so i'm lifting up off off that goes straight into water and you can leave that all day it won't hurt and we're taking off so you've now got your base so let me just check there you go. So you can see a good, beautiful layer. And you can see the colour coming up from underneath. So let's pop that out of the way. Let's get, as I said, excuse my tea towel. 
tea towel and let's just make sure we're in shot lovely so the trick with the beads is what you're working on the stencil dimension is a glue and the glue will adhere anything ultra fine so the beads are a although they're fine they're finer than um they're not as fine as glitter and your micas and things and your, your colored ones so you have to gently help them so one layer we're going back on and as you can see i am gently pushing him in two layers and we're just making sure that all the little bits and again gently tap off so just make sure that you're not throwing them around you don't want them scattering and rolling all over your floors and things like that especially if you've got pets at the end of the day these are pure glass so what you get is a fab coverage so let's pop that to one side that will dry and that will dry absolutely beautiful so and crystal clear so it'll come that color so be vibrant with your colors so i said that about doing two so what i've done is i've cut a third a, a second one out okay so rather than cutting all the way around here i've cut into the flower the dimension so all i need is a bit of glue and i'm gonna get a 3d glue a little dollop of it just so because i'm using the 3d glue because i'm working on glass so you'll find that your your double-sided tapes and things are going to struggle to stick to it you could try your red liner but i still think you're going to struggle so it's up to you how you line them up or how you want them you can offset them if you want looks pretty i just want them that way oops so i just need to line it up lovely and i'm just going to raise them a little bit you can move it more once it's dry but there we go i've used the little word hello which is from my stamp set the postmark stamp set i just thought it was nice dainty and quite quite apt to send out and there you go there is your beautiful microbead card i hope you enjoyed that technique and uh, we'll have more coming. Thank you.